Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and all the news in details. Tension as top army generals dies in Abuja. The general officer commander, GOC 6 Division Port Harcourt, Major General Olubumi Irefin is dead. The GOC was said to have died after contracting the COVID-19 while attending the annual chief of Army conference in Abuja. The conference has been since been cancelled by the Army authorities who also directed all the principal participants comprising principal staff officers, GOCs, commandants of Army schools, commanders of Army operations, among other participants to embark on 14 days isolation. So guys, what is your own take about this? What do you think about what is going on, you know? We have been saying it that uh, Nigeria is dead already. Even the leaders are dead already. Even President Muhammad Buhari is a dead man already. A country whereby there is no peace in that country. A, a country whereby there is no security. There is no safety in that country. You know what will happen to many of their leaders? Ha it's not that I'm happy about the, 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 the death of this uh, man. But the fact is that anybody that is born on earth, that says Nigeria will not move forward. Now, so all of them go to die one after the other because they have done their worst in this country. They have done their worst in this country. I'm telling you the truth. So now, so they go die. They go to die one after the other. I'm telling you the truth. It is not good for us to be happy with uh, any of the leaders that died, but leader that does not do well in our country, leaders that that is making the lives of Nigerian citizens worse. Leaders that are killing their 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 future, their youth, definitely not so go happen to them. You know, it, it all started uh, from Abaki Yari. Gradually, gradually, after Abaki Yari, we can count almost six of them that has died. I am telling you. But the only thing that we are hearing is that uh, because of the COVID nineteen, they contracted COVID nineteen. How are we sure that it is, it is COVID-19? Because I don't think in Nigeria there is COVID-19 like that. I don't think so because people are living their life and nothing is been ha nothing is happened. Why is it that it is only COVID-19 that is affecting our leaders? I'm telling you, you know, let's hear people's opinion before we go further. A lot of people were saying that, sorry, if you are one of the people who killed the Lekito Gate protesters, that is the end. But if not, may the Lord take good care of your family. The next generous to die is Tumo Burata. He will surely die before the end of this year. Because he deserves to die by virtue of activities with Boko Haram. As many who knows one thing, causing Boko Haram to strive in Nigeria cannot escape death before the year runs, before the year hangs. You know, people were saying that you heard that the killings of innocent Higbo men and women in Obigbo, the nest will be wicked. Hmm. I'm telling you, I, I guess some people still think that COVID-19 is a fraud. Okay. Oh. Hmm. May God help us. But as far as Nigeria is concerned, even Nigerian politicians themselves, they are fraud. They should be called fraud. They should be called fraud. People were saying that, why are you bringing in Wiki? He is the least person that should be mentioned in these circumstances. If you don't know what to say, you better keep quiet and let peace reign. You know, is Wiki commander-in-chief? Does the Nigerian military report to Wiki? Face issues and stop insulting individuals. You know, they said you are defending the blood-sucking vampire. You will be next victims. No, no be only COVID-19, now COVID-19, Borata and Fulani beast used him and killed him. They are gradually decimating the southern soldiers and leaders one day now, one day. You know, it will definitely come back to them. And let this be a very valid high hope not to skeptic everywhere that the well-dreaded, well-respected COVID-19 is still much, much around, but yet to locate them, to locate all the evil politicians that we have in the country. People say that to ensure you keep protecting yourself, especially in the midst of visitors or strangers in public places such as public airports, railway stations, mot motor park, amusement park, on board aircraft, in public transport, 
hospitals, schools, and the rest. May this well-dreaded demonic infirmity never locate you and your family. Oh, definitely we know that even this COVID-19 is not a good thing at all. We all know that it kills many people. America is a living testimony, is a living example. United Kingdom is a living example that this COVID-19 is still spreading all over the place. It kills innocent people. It kills a lot of people. I am telling you the truth. It kills a lot of people. So the fact is that everybody needs to keep safe. But I keep saying it. I don't think COVID-19 is in Nigeria. Because COVID-19 is the only one killing all our leaders. So we, we cannot even trust our leaders. Maybe they are hiding under the fact that uh, they under any under sickness. They are hiding under uh, things that we don't even understand at all. But all I will keep saying is that anybody that is born of humor, that does not want Nigeria to be success, successful, that does not want the growth of Nigeria, definitely all the leaders will die. I am telling you the truth. Because enough is enough. We Nigerians are suffering. The youth are suffering every day. No food, no shelter, no job. Come on. Enough of all these things. Can't they go, can't they look at, check other countries and see the way their youth are enjoying and see the way their youth have jobs? The poverty level in Nigeria is nothing to be right home about. And here we are. All our leaders, they keep embezzling money. Recently, I just, I just did one video about uh, Mahana saying that he, he embezzled a huge amount of pensioner money. And then why in the court, they said he fainted. You can imagine, no. Politician with their drama, they can dra they can dramatize Nollywood latest Nollywood politicians. May God help us. So, Nigeria is a doom, is a pure doom. I am telling you, it takes the grace of God for Nigeria to be co to to come back to normal. So, guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below for those who subscribe. We want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, definitely you will be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you for always being there for us at all times. Stay safe. It is very important to you, Amy. Have a lovely day. Bye. See you.